Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I will show you how to convert the human projection to facial projection in a quick way and I will also how to identify uh, the SNR confirmation for your structure. Now if I looked at my first structure in here I have tried hydroxybutanol and uh, this is the human projection. I need to convert it into facial projection and to be able to do that I will draw a line that is crossed by another two lines. In here I will assume I have these uh, two carbon atoms that one of them rep uh, represented in this front carbon atom and at the back, uh, back the center will be the other uh, carbon atom. Now I have this Y shape I will draw it down here consider uh, so this would be my Y shape in here. Uh, so I will have here the hydroxyl and then here I will have the hydrogen and in here I will have the H2OH. For the back uh, groups in that uh, case I will put the uh, aldehyde at the top as it is. Now for the two uh, groups on the side, the hydroxyl in that case and the hydrogen, you need to flip them. So I will flip the position of each one of them. So I will put the hydrogen here in, uh, the, uh, on the right instead of uh, being on the left. And here the hydroxyl on the uh, left instead of being on the right. Uh, probably by now you have seen too many videos that will tell you um, you, you need to go from uh, uh, eclipsed structures then to staggered and from this staggered you can uh, get your facial projection. An easy way just to draw the Y shape uh, in your uh, facial projection then at the back you draw it as a, uh, as the position the top position as it is and just flip the two uh, bottom groups uh, between them so uh, like I flipped here in, in this case now I got my uh, facial projection I need to identify my SNR my R is when I get a priority of my groups uh, clockwise and my S when I get my priority of my groups anti-clockwise if I have the hydrogens at the side of my structure in that case I will have to uh, convert my R into S and my S into R uh, so for uh, this structure in here, I have CH, uh, so the barrier to goes for the hydroxyl over any other group. Then it comes to the aldehyde. Then I have here this uh, center point is uh, uh, the third priority. Now, if I look, I'm going uh, clockwise. This is, uh, so it is R. This is why I flip, uh, I will flip it into S because I already have here the hydrogen at the side of my structure. It's, if it were on the top or the bottom, I'm not gonna flip my uh, S or R confirmation. But if it is on the sides, I have to flip my structure. Now uh, I have to flip the confirmation. Now if I looked at uh, uh, the uh, other group in here, so I have the priority goes for this hydroxyl, then it goes for this carbon because it is attached to aldehyde and the hydroxyl, while this carbon is still attached to two hydrogens, then hydroxyl. Uh, so if I looked here, I am going, uh, in that case, anticlockwise. So it's S, I will convert it back again into R. So I have here S and R. So I can uh, name my structure on that case. Uh, 2R, then I have uh, 3S, this is uh, the third carbon atom, so this is the second carbon atom and this is the third carbon atom, then I have to name, uh, the uh, I have to number the position of my hydroxyl groups at the position 2, 3, and 4, and I have uh, three hydroxyl groups, so I have trihydroxy, then I will name my structure in here, I have four carbon atoms, so I have butanol. Now, if I looked at my structure, and if I have the fissure instead of uh, having as a human projection, and I need to convert it to human, uh, to human projection, so I will uh, draw my uh, circle. Then I will draw in that case um, a flipped Y. So uh, in that case, if I looked at a flipped Y shape, this is a flipped Y shape, and if I looked at this structure in here, this is a flipped Y shape. So I can just write it down here on my structure so I have here hydroxyl and I have here hydrogen then I will flip the position of the uh, back groups in that uh, case so I have these three groups and I have here CH2OH and this uh, hydroxyl will be on this side instead of uh, being on the left I will put it in the right and here I will have the hydrogen one thing to make sure that you have it done, you have done the uh, conversion uh, correctly that if I have here the two hydroxyl groups at the same side of your structure they will be at a different side of your structure in the fissure projection and if I have them at the same side of my fissure projection so they should be a different side of my Neumann projection so it is just uh, opposite to each 
each other. Now let's look at this structure. And here I have succinic acid. And if I look at succinic acid in that case, I have I need to first draw my Fischer projection. So I will have two carbon atoms, the carbon number two and the carbon number three at the back. Now I have the uh, Y shape. So I will just draw this Y shape on this side. And I have here a carboxylic group. Then the uh, back uh, back uh, uh, carbon atom, I will just have to flip these two groups. Uh, so I have I will have here the hydroxyl and I will have here the hydrogen. Now uh, back again to confirm that I have uh, converted my structure correctly. I have here the two hydroxyl at different side, so here they are at the same side. Now, if I need to identify the RNS, in that case, the hydroxyl goes uh, to have the uh, higher priority over the uh, carboxylic acid. So here is number one, number two, then here I have number three. You have to remember here are the hydrogen at the side of your structure. So you have to convert to S into R or R into S. Now I'm going in that case anticlockwise. So I have, uh, uh, I have S. This is why I have to convert it into R. Uh, if I looked at uh, this carbon in that case, I have here uh, the hydroxyl with the first priority, then I have here the second priority. Now I'm going uh, clockwise, uh, which means this R, I'm going to convert it into S. So in that case, if I try to uh, write down uh, my structure, so I have two R, then I have three S. Then I have at the position number two and the three, dihydroxy. Succinic acid. Now moving back, if I have the Fischer projection and I need to convert it into a new projection, so I can just draw the circle. And now I'm doing the flipped Y shape. So this is my flipped Y shape. And in that case, I will have the hydroxide on this side. I have here the hydrogen. I have here the carboxylic group. Then I will look at these groups. I will just flip uh, flip them. So the hydrogen uh, will uh, have the position of the hydroxide. So it will be in this side. And the hydroxide will be in that side. Now I have here the carboxylic acid at this side. So you could see that now I flipped my structure. And if we go back one step. So you could see that in here I have the hydroxyl at those positions. In here I flipped my structure, but they are uh, on a different side, but it is the same. So when you convert it back, so you can just look at your structure from this point of view and still 2R3S. So either you have the Y shape going down uh, in that case, and this, is, this will be your uh, third carbon atom, or you will have uh, the second carbon atom in that case at the back, uh, and the carbon number two will be at the back, or you will have the carbon number uh, two uh, at the front with the flipped Y shape, and uh, carbon number three will be at the back with the Y shape uh, um, positioned correctly. By that, we came to the end of this video. Thank you and goodbye.